Hello everyone. One day, a company manager who felt that he was not getting any respect from his staff put a sign outside his office door that read, I am the boss. Later that day, when he returned from lunch, he found a note beside the sign that said, Sir, your wife called. She wants her sign back by this evening. Friends, respect is something everyone deserves or everyone has equal claim to. If one is not given respect, he or she expects it. What is respect? Respect is an outward sign expressed verbally or non-verbally or both to acknowledge someone for his or her work, achievements, good behavior, personality, abilities and qualities. But God is greater than anyone on earth. Therefore, the Bible tells us that God deserves not just respect but much more. He deserves our utmost respect and reverence. What is reverence? Reverence is a form of respect shown to God or someone whom we think highly of and admire. It involves a feeling of awe and wonder, deep veneration, and in the case of God, to acknowledge His presence. In today's second reading, Peter calls on all Christians to live a life of reverence. That is to say, Christians should conduct their life in a holy manner, following the holy character of the God who has called them. And he also gives three reasons for this Christian reverence. 1. Christians must live a life of reverence because they are just sojourners on the earth. Life on earth is short and impermanent. There is a time limit for everyone. No one lives forever. Some people live 30 or 40 or 50 years. If you are strong and healthy, we may live to be 80 or even 90. Some even live to be 100. But does not matter how long we live, because eventually everyone dies. Therefore, it is important that we not only become aware of where we are, but also of where we are going. We are going back to the heavenly home. We are going back to God. To God we belong, and to Him we return. Meantime, Peter calls on the Christians to make every aspect of their human life as an occasion to show their reverence to God. 2. Christians must live a life of reverence because God is a righteous judge who judges everyone impartially according to their works. One might ask, are we not saved by faith? Yes, we are. We are saved by faith but judged by our works. James, in his letter, chapter 2, verse 26, reminds us that faith without works is dead. Our works will be judged not to determine our eternal destiny but to determine our rewards in heaven. Hence Peter encourages all Christians not to fall into the trap of thinking that since they are saved by faith, they could lead a reckless and wild life. Instead, all Christians must treat other people with respect by controlling their tongue, showing patience and love to those around them. They must take the time each and every day to acknowledge the presence of the Lord in their life and make every effort to live out a true and holy life. 3. Christians must live a life of reverence because the redemption from sin has caused the life and death of Jesus Christ. The humankind has been redeemed not with the perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Friends, how reverent are you? Do you show reverence to God, respect His name and honor everything connected with Him, persons, places and objects? We cannot call ourselves Christians and not have reverence for God. If we say we do, 
then this would be shown in our praise and worship of Him. Reverence should be the basis of how we relate with or to God, both alone and when we are with others, to learn the scriptures, to pray and worship Him. But I am afraid to say that in these days of casual in informality, we seem to have lost our spirituality to such an extent that we have lost all sense of reverence for God our Father. We often fail to revere Him to adore Him and worship Him with deep respect, admiration, high esteem and sincere humility and obedience. We often love to glorify ourselves rather than glorify God. We get so obsessed with ourselves, our desires and achievements and become so bogged down with life's cares that we forget that we exist to glorify God. We forget that God is in control of the movement of our conversation or of our work. Reverence brings rewards. The Lord honors those who honor Him. God honors those who do as they are told, who believe and live a Christ-like life. Part of this life is respecting others and having a reverential fear of God. John chapter 12 verse 26 says, If anyone serves me, let him follow me, and where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, him my father will honor. Friends, from the time of Abraham, the father of faith, there are several examples in the Bible in which the Lord has proved his word. Today, our Lord wants us to choose to honor Him so that He can bless us abundantly and honor us among so many blessed Christian friends. Amen. God bless you.